Welcome. I'm launching a new service to patients of mine in my practice, to parents, children, and also to teachers if they're interested. And I've launched a support group that is dedicated to registered patients of mine. There are going to also be other groups that are also open to the general public. But what I want to help you as a parent is to be able to have the support and for me to deliver information and educational videos and instructional useful information that you're going to find to be able to supplement and to kind of add a richness and to also learn a little bit more about learning difficulties, general health in children, as well as ADHD, mood problems, and related to school-related issues. And of course, it'll be across general pediatrics as well. So let me show you what I've created. The website is a subdomain of drfleck.com called courses.drfleck.com. So what you'd do is you'd come through to this uh, front page of the website and what you then do is you would click on register and you get through to the next page. So let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can see. And what you do is then fill in your details and you'll come through, automatically be logged into the website. And you'll come across uh, the main page again and you should come through to the support group. So what you then do is you'd select support groups and you're gonna come through to the next page, which will give you a, a, a range of uh, support groups that you can belong to. The main one that I'm targeting at the moment and helping you understand is Dr. Fred's parent support. So that's the one you do. You uh, That's the one that's dedicated to Dr. Fred. So you'd click that one, open to the general public, there's another support group, but that'll be different. The next thing that you do is you would uh, click on the next uh, page and you would come through to the actual support group itself. And then you can see highlighted, you then click courses. The courses that are available, They're going to be various courses and you can see I've put on just a number of uh, topics at the moment and I'll be adding this all the time and targeted at particular kind of interests and things that I think one should know about. One of that I put on at the moment is fussy eaters and also for children who are on medication for ADHD and school related problems. How long should you stay on your medication for? There's also an interesting condition called body-focused repetitive behavior where, where kids scratch themselves. And then also to explore the connection between autism and ADHD. So if we had to click on just the first one, Fussy Eaters, you'd come through to the next page and you can see you would then start course. There are three separate videos in the series and you then come through to the first video. I've also put a summary of exactly what is in the video to help. And I'll be adding in due course a number of further videos. So if you've got any ideas, things that you'd like to hear about, please let me know. 